Hey, how you doing? This is Side from Affiliateship.com, and I'm back with another video. So, in this video, uh, we are going to talk about the cost of running an affiliate marketing business. All right, so it's a very important topic because uh, sometimes you get a lot of advice and this and that. You could start for free and this and that, which is true in some cases. But uh, if you want to run a proper affiliate marketing business, long-term sustainable business, then there are some costs involved, all right? Because it's a business, right? And any business requires investment. So let's start this. So affiliate marketing, like any other business, requires a level of investment, okay? However, unlike traditional business where you may have to spend thousands or even hundreds of dollars in affiliate marketing, the cost to get started are much lower okay you can realistically get started for just a few hundred dollars right with that said let's now look at some of the main cost of tools and resources that you will need to get started with affiliate marketing and operate and maintain your affiliate business on a day-to-day -day basis okay so first thing you'll need is the main name so the main name is basically your unique address uh, of your home on the internet, right? It's your address, you know, like for example, my address is affiliate.com, your one will be your name, whatever it is that you want to call it, uh, .com, yeah? So it'll host your website, your marketing content. Your website is, of course, your home on the internet where your audience will come to learn more about your affiliate offers that you're promoting. Uh, on the website, you're going to provide the value about yourself, about your, you know, business, what you do, what you offer, how much value you provide, and this and that, okay? So typically, the domain name will cost around 10 to $15 a year. I use Namecheap myself, as it cost me less, about, well, it was $10 I got on a promo code last time I spent it, but um, roughly you can like 10 to $15, right? <clears throat> and I use Namecheap uh, because, I don't know if we'll, how long we'll be running for, but, when I get my domain names, uh, they give me free SSL, which is a secure socket layer, and domain privacy. Those two things are very important security features, uh, which is good for your website, okay? So, Namecheap is a good one that I use myself, uh, if you want to check that out. Uh, there's loads of others like GoDaddy, which I've used as well. I've used NetFirms, uh, Name.com, but Namecheap is the one that I'm currently using. Uh, and I've got a couple of domain names with them so next one is website we need a website a website is basically where your content will be uh, stored uh, relating to your products affiliate offers that you you know information that you store okay uh, that you're going to promote offers information regarding the offers that you're going to promote your website will be your home on the internet where you can provide valuable advice and tips and everything to do with promoting your affiliate offers so that your audience can be educated informed uh, well enough to help them make buying decisions and when you recommend them and they buy from you. Uh, so another crucially important thing about websites and marketing is that these are online assets, okay? They will serve as your sales machines and marketing systems. So, you know, once you put your content out there, it can stay on this, you know, forever, you know, uh, potentially and just serve for you, you know, generate traffic, leads and sales for you. Okay, so once you put your marketing page in front online, they'll be doing all the explaining and selling of your affiliate offers, okay? So they'll be working 24 seven, as I said, 365 days a year, potentially generating sales for you in a passive way whilst you go about your daily life. So it's really crucially important to have your own website. So the cost of running a website will be generally down to web hosting. And of course, uh, you'll pay for your domain name, which is associated with your website. So, that's what we're going to discuss next is web hosting okay so web hosting is basically a uh, storage space on your website which your website will be living on uh, on the internet right so similar to a computer hard drive you know uh, where we store our you know digital files and all that you know the file explorer and all that you know on windows for example uh, in the mac finder you know uh, so basically your files your internet your website file will be stored on web hosting okay your web host will basically store your website and serve it online uh, and then basically basically host it that's why it's called a web host it's going to store your host your website so that people can access it your audience can access it 24 7 all right it's going to create a state remain online and remain active and live online so when you create and upload your content on your website uh, to market your affiliate offers this content gets stored and available you know 
as I said, 24-7, 365 days a year. So the web hosting stores this content for your website and does the job of keeping it active and available for your visitors to view and when they want, you know, from any geographical location, as long as they've got the internet access, you know, literally globally, they can access it. Uh, so cost varies from free to a few dollars per month. Uh, you can get free hosting, but as I said, you get what you pay for. Um, I'd go for pay hosting, definitely. Uh, popular web hosting are Bluehost and HostGator. Uh, I've used them both. And they're great to start with. I'm currently using A2 hosting because they provide a bit more customization, customization features in, in terms of hardware, uh, you know, like feature like resources and stuff like that. Because I'm, I wanted to host uh, multiple websites, so I just wanted a bit more uh, power, server power. So I just went with A2 hosting. But I said Bluehost and Host uh, Hostgator, great to start with. I think Bluehost. Uh, are doing a, a, a slightly uh, cheaper deal than host rates at the moment but you have to sign up for a long term but if you do sign up for a long term you can still uh, even if you cancel any month you can get a pro rata refund especially with Bluehost I'm sure they do it and host data they will most likely do it but check with them okay so that's that's that uh, so yeah next one is email autoresponder this is the software that we use to build your most important asset in your affiliate marketing business which is your email list database okay so the email autoresponder has two main functions first it will allow you to build your email list and second you will use it to communicate with your audience by sending them automated real-time messages within the software so email autoresponder is a must have in your business okay the cost are usually based on how many subscribers you will have uh, so and it's charged on a monthly basis okay so popular ones out there are a robber and get response uh two of the popular ones out there uh which are also affiliate marketing friendly some auto response are not affiliate marketing friendly okay so you gotta be careful uh but two these two are definitely uh are because i personally use it myself i've had no problems uh, so far okay so <clears throat> that's two a robber Costs about nineteen dollars per month for five hundred subscribers, and it drops. And if you pay by annually, it drops uh, by a few percent. Uh, you also get free thirty day trial. Get response costs uh, thirteen dollars per month per one thousand subscribers. So the price also drops if paid annually, and even uh, on longer term periods. The longer you have it, I think it, it drops. The price drops. Okay, but you can check them out. Uh, both from free trial they come with 30 day free trial uh, as I said having tried both I personally prefer Aweber and I'm with Aweber at the moment uh, you can try one at a time see which one you like and then uh, you can see for yourself which one that you prefer okay but I'd, I'd, if I would you I'd try, I wouldn't try both at the same time because your free trial will start at the same time so obviously you probably end up using one or the other because obviously you know when you set up your marketing systems you, you know you just want to use one of them here yeah? just for convenience so what i would do is i try one first use that for 30 days if i don't like it i can cancel it and then i'll try the other one so you get but it's particularly two months of free um auto responder if you like but as i said uh i prefer aweber and you can try either of them out start with aweber or get response whichever one you prefer Right, so next one is marketing software. So marketing software is what you will use to create marketing pages that will sell your affiliate products. So marketing software are specially designed for creating marketing related pages, okay? So I know we discussed that we need the website where I have hosting this and that, which is good. But marketing software are specialist software, you know, their, their purpose is basically to create, you know, convert, you know, um, marketing pages that are, you know, proven to convert. So you definitely need that, right? So <coughs> pages such as landing pages, sales pages, bonus pages, pre-sale pages, they're all affiliate marketing related pages that you would need to create, okay, to promote your affiliate offers. And, you know, these are, as I said, these are the common types of pages for affiliate marketing. So if you're not comfortable with the techie stuff, don't worry because these days most of the top marketing softwares are simply drag and drop softwares. Uh, that you don't and you don't need no web design skills or coding skills one of my favorite is click funnels uh, and I'll tell you this I purchased and tried many different types of software uh, I paid for them this and that I tried them you know um, 
and I can say with passion is that uh, ClickFunnels is the most beginner friendly and advanced friendly and it's easiest to use and it's very enjoying to use to be honest okay in the past I've actually cancelled my subscription uh, subscription and when I discovered some other softwares and slightly close to being like ClickFunnels were a bit cheaper but you know to be honest they took a bit more time to create the pages <coughs> and <coughs> I prefer ClickFunnels as it is it's much faster and easier to create uh, pages marketing pages so remember one thing where you can say when you can save time anywhere you should save it as we know time is the most valuable thing we have you know uh, and that is reducing of course you know in our lifetime it cannot be replenished so just remember that time is crucial and valuable so if you can save it even if you have to pay a bit more definitely do it that's what I do uh, okay so I said if one software can save you time compared to another one of course better features I will try to, to do, go for that and that's what I do in the case of click funnels it saves you time uh, you can create pages very quickly from idea to web page in literally minutes and it's faster as it's all cloud based running online you don't need to download anything set up anything it's ready the moment you sign up for it okay cost varies uh, depending on what type of market software you use but some of the top markets are monthly based uh, as mentioned but I personally used click funnels uh, so you're looking at $97 per month there are cheaper options out there for example you got uh, lead pages is one of them uh, you have thrive themes uh, one of them or I think it's called thrive architect now you've got optimized press I mean those are the four top ones around there's another one Carter as well that's another top one that just not recently not too recently released maybe a, a year or so or something like that but as I said I've tried many of them well I've tried the other four I said lead page I've tried I've tried uh, thrive architect I've tried um, optimized press and I think personally I found click to be the easiest to use okay uh, so yeah you can check those out but click funnel is about $97 per month and it's definitely well worth the price you can actually start click funnels for completely free with a 14 day trial and you can see for yourself how it is uh, so that's that click funnel okay next thing we need is tracking software so tracking software is also referred to as link tracking software and it helps you find out and measure how your marketing campaigns are performing for example and when you do paid advertising you have two different variations of ads running to my landing page for an affiliate product right so you can utilize link tracking to find out how many clicks and conversions both pages received so that's end of part one uh, I'm gonna stop right there I want to go to part two and before we go to part two uh, before we go to part two uh, thanks for watching if you like this video please comment and hit uh, like and subscribe and part two is coming right up look out for part two it should be somewhere here on this page i put a link actually in the description for part two and if you'd like some free affiliate resources uh do check out my other website or my website link here which i'm gonna load up now if it loads up oh, no, not this one all right so yeah so if you'd like some free resources on how to build your affiliate marketing business visit affiliate.com forward slash free and that's it for now i'll put a link in the youtube description so I'm, watch out for part two i'm gonna record that right now and get it up online okay see you soon for part two